Hi guys, this is Asal. I'm studying for the bar and I wanted to review my notes with you. So today I'm studying contracts and I'm studying statute of frauds. So ask yourself, what is statute of frauds exactly? I'll tell you in just a second. So when I first started law school, I automatically assumed that all contracts that are enforceable must be in writing. That's just a common assumption. But I would like you to know that that's not the case. Some oral contracts are enforceable, but other contracts must be in writing. So this video is about contracts that must be in writing. So I have a way of actually remembering this that's very easy. I've made the acronym of Miss Loss. So let me tell you about my friend, Miss Los Angeles. That's how you remember her. Miss Los Angeles. She's really hip, she's really cool, and she'll be with you in the bar exam. So Miss Laws are the acronym for all the contracts that must be in writing. Right here. So contracts for marriage must be in writing, contracts for suretyship must be in writing, contracts for land sale must be in writing, and contracts for services over one year, services that cannot be finished in a one year period, must be in writing and finally contracts for the sale of good over five hundred dollars must be in writing so this is something you must remember so if you want to marry someone you can't just say orally hey i'm gonna marry you marriage must be in writing suretyship suretyship is basically a promise to pay a debt of another when you promise to pay the debt of another that must be in writing land sale you can't just tell someone here i give you my land i just sold you my land orally no it doesn't work like that for contracts for the sale of land must be writing and then services as i said that can be performed in a one year period anything over one year even one year and two days must be in writing and finally contracts for the sale of goods over five hundred dollars for example an expensive car or anything an expensive computer anything over five hundred dollars must be in writing so this is it statute of frauds miss loss i hope that you remembered it the next thing i would like to talk about is this book that i've actually introduced in my other videos crunch time my favorite book and i would actually like to show you this chart right here. I really like it. So it starts here with the surety ship. It says, does the contract involve the promise to pay the debt of another, whether living or dead? So if you say yes, is the other person directly liable to the promisee for the debt or performance? Then if you say yes, then that's when the contract must be in writing okay it's that it falls under the statute of frauds the next thing is the marriage right here let me show you there you go the next thing in marriage it asks does the contract involve marriage or a promise of marriage if yes does the contract consist solely of the mutual promises to marry so if yes then oh, sorry if Yes, it must be in writing. So when people are promising to get married, that must be in writing. And then the next thing is land contract provision. Remember the land contract provision. Does the contract involve the promise to transfer or buy an, any interest in land? So if it is interest in land, then yes, that must be in writing. Again, basically, this chart goes over that for you. And the next thing is sale of goods. Does a contract involve the sale of tangible goods with a total contract price of $500 or more? If yes, then in writing. And finally, the services over one year. And I just showed you that real quick before I finish up this video. I would like to show you the exam tips on this page right here. Okay, so over here it says that when you come across an oral agreement, always ask yourself whether the agreement should be in writing. The possible violation of statute of frauds is frequently tested and can be easily overlooked by students preoccupied with more obvious issues. So look at the type of contracts that I just described for you. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about and um, I really hope you enjoy studying. Good luck.